Someone once said that what screws us up most in life is the picture in our head of how it's supposed to be. And that is so true. We get so hung up on this idea of what life is supposed to be like. And then we get upset when reality doesn't match up with that idea, with our desires and expectations. Throughout my life, whenever I've felt depressed or resentful, irritated or frustrated, disappointed or heartbroken, in every instance there was this idea that life was not supposed to be this way. When I would look at my circumstances, not just as they were in that moment, but also the circumstances preceding them, the circumstances that I was born into, the state of the world, the way that society operates, the way that others behave toward one another, all of the difficulties that arise, and so on. I would think to myself, it's not supposed to be like this. But the fact of the matter is that it is what it is. Life is as it is. The world is as it is. And I'm not saying that it couldn't be better. I'm not saying that everything is just fine as it is and that we should just leave things as they are. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with envisioning a better life or a better world if that inspires us to work toward that vision. I'm talking about being bitter and resentful and depressed because the world isn't living up to our ideal, to our standard, and feeling so victimized and entitled that we're not willing to do anything to change the situation. The world isn't going to change itself. And being bitter isn't going to make your life any better. In fact, it just makes it all the more unbearable. You have to take what you have and do what you can with it. If you're simply waiting for someone else to improve your life, if you're putting all of that responsibility onto others, you're handing your power away. And as soon as you do that, you have no room to complain. Whatever they do with it, that's up to them now, unless you decide to take it back. So there comes a point when you realize all of this, and you begin to take that power back. And it all starts by accepting that life is as it is. That life is under no obligation to measure up to your standards, to your desires and expectations. The universe is not obligated to appease you. Society is not obligated to appease you. There's no law that says that life should match up to your imagined ideal. Now, it would be wonderful if we lived in a world where everything was easy and there was peace and prosperity for everyone. A world where everyone cared for one another. It would be wonderful if we lived in a world where everyone was kind to one another, where people encouraged and inspired one another. And maybe sometimes it feels like that's what's missing. Maybe it feels like that's what we've been deprived of. But maybe that's also what your own heart is calling for you to provide. Maybe your disappointment with the way things are is arising from a deep desire to do something to change it. And maybe there are things that you have the power to change and other things which you have no power to change. 
and in either case, you might as well accept it, because being angry about it or depressed, that's not doing anything to make the situation better. Maybe the problem with the world is that too many people think too much of themselves and not enough of others. And maybe you've been doing that as well. Maybe you've been so wrapped up in your own thoughts, in your own disappointments and frustrations, wrapped up in your own sorrow and self-pity, feeling as if, why should I do anything for anyone? What has anyone ever done for me? And maybe you're not the only one to think like that. Supposing the reason why the world seems not to care, why so many people seem not to care, is because they're so wrapped up in themselves, wrapped up in their own suffering, just like you. And maybe you can be the one to break free from that. Maybe you can be the one to change it. Maybe you can set the example by being everything to others that you wish others would be to you. If you want the world to change, you have to change. You have to initiate that change. You have to change the way that you engage with the world. But even then, you have to let go of your expectations. That's what this whole problem started with the expectations that you have of how things are supposed to be. You have to engage without expectation. You have to engage without the need for reciprocation because not everyone is going to respond the same. Not everyone is going to be receptive. Not everyone is going to reflect it. There will be times when what you offer is rejected. But for those who do accept it, for those who you connect with, for those who are affected, you will find that change is possible, that joy is possible, that life can be meaningful and fulfilling when you're giving not to get.